Good morning, friends. Good morning, teacher. Okay, it's very nice to uh, see you online. See you actually hear you online. Uh, so this is uh, Mrs. Ujjwala Andrades, and Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation welcomes you for the online education. I know it is a uh, very early morning. You must have been just woken up, but uh, uh, I am very sure you are going to enjoy the. <laughs> the teaching learning process actually we will not be doing the teaching learning we'll just have a nice talk today okay kids yes sir yes miss yeah so uh, as everybody you all know uh, last by last month actually our, our corona cases were decreasing and we were very uh, anxiously waiting for the schools to reopen even i was like very elated ki yes finally schools are going to open but due to some uh, the problems we are still facing the shutdown so please don't lose heart we will be very positive and very soon uh, we will have you face to face but till then uh, municipal corporation is trying to reach you all the ways possible to teach you yeah so this is uh, ujjwal andrade is from new mai municipal school and uh, our administrative officer mrs neelata jhumre uh, the nodal bit officer mr sharad kurade nodal hm mrs pushpa mary paul assistant nodal hm manpreet kaur anand and the school hm mrs sara ban her changila so we all are pleased to offer you this online education can we start kids yes teacher yes now today i am not uh, starting with a uh, good thought or something like that we are going to have a very good day throughout the day so we come directly to some interactive uh, talk interactive session so here i please request you you are not going to just like i am not i am i'll be only talking and you will be listening uh, no we will be doing the talking both of us myself also and all the kids on zoom okay okay kids Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. teacher. Yes, and we are going to enjoy this. Okay, now look at the picture, and just tell me what this picture is about. Merry Christmas! Yeah, Merry Christmas! Everybody knows this is a Christmas festival. Okay. Yes, teacher. We celebrate it at the twenty fifth December. Oh wow! Very good. So everyone knows about twenty fifth December Christmas celebrations. Okay, can you tell me uh, which people celebrate this? I mean, of course, the whole world Christian. celebrates. Christian. Hello? Yeah. Christian. Especially, especially the Christians celebrate this, and it is celebrated all over the world. Okay, it is the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, uh, next, picture. what can you see? Navratri. 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 Yes, excellent. This is Navratri festival, uh, which is celebrated uh, all over India, all over the world. Okay, anything yes. about more about Navratri? You know, anybody knows yes, something? Yes, in Navratri we are playing just like Navratri. Teacher, in hmm. Navratri we are playing garva. Gujarati, yes. Gujarati especially, and nowadays, so everybody likes to play, isn't it? so some people they will they who like to play they uh, go and play the garba during the night especially in the evenings you all go out for garba yes teacher yes everybody likes the music and everything right uh, okay uh, this garba is played for how many nights do you know now ratri means what nine nine nights nine nine nights yes excellent nine nights okay so this is about garba mm, yeah look at the picture and tell me what it diwali. was diwali 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 celebrating yes. diwali yes these people are they are celebrating diwali uh, everyone celebrate diwali yes teacher yes teacher yes. okay diwali is the festival of hindu Lights. No, no, lights. Light. Excellent, excellent. It's a festival of lights because uh, diyas, no people light diyas, and uh, they celebrate like they make sweets, 
and all that no uh, okay nowadays nowadays suppose for the environment sake if i ask you something for the nature to, for, to preserve the nature to conserve the nature uh, the government is asking us not to do something during diwali can you tell me something with is what teacher we can yeah. watch the rangoli yeah no 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 i am talking about uh, something which the kids like you know during diwali but then uh, it is not good for environment what is that do not burn yes do not burn crackers do not burn crackers you know why they are saying that because for the crackers and get fried yes because of the pollution no? there is lot of smoke and the smoke causes respiratory diseases isn't it that's why they are saying no crackers but lights are allowed and all the other things are allowed and that is very nice isn't it we should also not burn crackers because it is causing pollution okay what is this festival holy. kids holy yes holy holy everybody likes holy yes teachers yes uh i think this month we have holy yes we chat 29 march yes on 29th march we are going to celebrate holy uh something more about holy can you tell me the holy is a festival of colors colors yes yes we, in the holy we are uh holy we are playing with colors yes yes and everybody likes and holy we yes are firing it okay so we play with colors okay so these all festivals are uh, some of the festivals we are we are fine at the ravan yeah okay 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 thank you for the details <laughs> okay so these all festivals we celebrate uh, uh, in india in every uh, every household nowadays you know there is no religion like you no know, ki acha maine diwali kyun celebrate karne ka hai ka no no people are celebrating everything whatever they like isn't it okay last year due to corona maybe we couldn't do it right yes But, uh, positively let us think positively ki next year we'll pray to god and next year we might celebrate all these festivals okay now i just want to want you to get to the point all the festivals but especially okay this festival anybody can ramzan is bakreed this is yeah this is any eid okay any eid which people the muslims celebrate eid right uh yeah diwali okay. diwali this is a rangoli of diwali yes this is this is a rangoli drawn by somebody uh, and it is a very beautiful rangoli and this is what is saying happy diwali so the characteristics of diwali the main characteristics of diwali is the drawing of rangoli now how many of you uh, have actually tried your hand at rangoli uh, how many of you have actually tried your hand like anybody ha has uh, tried to draw rangoli can yes. you draw no miss no it is a, it is a very difficult art but uh, some people no like you know even i myself cannot draw nice rangoli but i can even... draw but not too much okay little little isn't it at least your name or something or one flower yes yeah yeah because in the drawing uh, period sometimes the teachers ask you to draw something no some art some some flower something like that so uh, today we are going to learn about rangoli okay now this lesson number in your english uh, textbook unit 4 there is a chapter rangoli and right now i am going to read out the chapter so while while i am reading i won't be explaining much i'll just read and you will just listen attentively to how i read the stress the the pronunciations the intonations just listen carefully after i have finished reading we will be doing again the interaction like we will talk okay kids so please pay attention to the reading okay lesson number 33 rangoli 
Rangoli is one of the most beautiful and most pleasing art forms of India. The word Rangoli or Rangavali consists of two words. Ranga meaning color and Avali meaning a row or a wine. Rangoli is the art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor of the house using finely ground white powder and different colors. In many households, Rangoli designs are drawn in the courtyard or in front of the doorstep every day. The most interesting feature of Rangoli is that it is drawn afresh every day. Just as you cleanse or adorn yourself every day, you clean your house and decorate it with a Rangoli every day. On special occasions, you wear special clothes and ornaments. In the same way, special magnificent designs are made on the occasion of feast and festivals. Designs and patterns. The traditional form of Rangoli makes use of designs and motifs based on nature, such as mango, creepers, lotus and other flowers, swans, peacocks, fish and other animals and so on. Rangoli designs also include geometrical patterns and shapes. Nowadays, other fancy designs and freehand drawings are also used to make beautiful Rangoli. How is it made? Usually, Rangoli lines are made using coarse grained powders such as sand, marble, dust, sawdust or rice grain powder as it provides a good grip while making the straight or curving lines. It is important to draw unbroken lines of even thickness to maintain the beauty of the design. The skill to do so comes with a lot of practice. The rangoli can then be left as a beautiful drawing or you can fill it with bright colored powders. It is customary to prepare a special background for rangoli with geru or wet ochre so that the white design stands out very well. Also, usually a grid of rows and columns of dots is used to give a proper frame and shape to the design. Rangoli, occupy, Rangoli and Diwali. Rangoli occupies a special place in the festival of Deepavali or Diwali. Since the art form is an expression of warm hospitality. It is used by almost everyone to decorate the courtyard during the festival. It signifies that people coming to the house are welcome inside. Rangoli in different states. Rangoli art is known by different names in different parts of the country. It is known as Chakpurana in Uttar Pradesh, Mandana in Rajasthan, Muggu in Andhra Pradesh and Rangoli in Gujarat, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Each region has its special characteristics, designs and patterns. In the northern parts of India, it is customary to make Rangoli designs with traditional wet colors. In Bengal, Rangoli is known as Alpana, whereas in Bihar and Uttaranchal, it is named Aripana. Kolam is the name given to the art of Rangoli in southern parts of the country, mainly in the states of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Kolam designs are made with the help of rice powder. Rangoli in modern days. Rangoli art has been used for centuries to beautify many Indian households. Previously, it was used mainly by women. Today, both men and women learn and practice this art adding their innovative ideas to the traditional designs and motifs. At the time of public celebrations, carpets of Rangoli are spread over large areas and even long distances. 
Some people use leaves and flowers to make rangolis, which are beautiful as well as fragrant. Would you like to try your hand at this beautiful art form? Okay. Now, children, now we are going to talk. Now, I have read the chapter. And if you are attentive, you will remember some things. Okay. Now, before that, I will just explain you the meanings. And then we'll go to the depth of the rangolis. Okay. Compromises means consist of compromises the rang no, rangoli comp compromises of so it consists of feature is the characteristics or quality any feature feature of rangoli so what is the characteristic of rangoli that it is drawn in rows or lines like that adornments to decorate you know uh, women sometimes they put gajra in their hair to decorate the hair so it is adorn magnificent is beautiful and impressive very very beautiful Traditional, a long established practice. Traditional is something which belongs to tradition. Like we are doing that for a long time. Like Diwali, uh, on the Diwali day, we have to put Rangoli. This is even our grandfather and our grandfather's grandfather and all the, all the people uh, for centuries together are doing this. That is traditional. Motifs, repeated decorative image or design forming a pattern. A motif is a pattern which is there on our dresses or in the rangoli. It's found in the rangoli also. Coarse means rough. Um, you know, there's a smooth powder which we do, like uh, which we use as masala is a smooth powder. Sometimes it is coarse, it is rough. Customary, again, same thing based on traditional practices. It is customary means uh, we have to do it. So during Diwali, we have to uh, adorn our so they are with rangoli. So that is customary. Hospitality means warm reception of people. Means we are very welcoming. Hospitality is welcoming. Signifies, indicates or means innovative, new or novel. Something very new. That is called innovative. Pleasing, of course, you know what is pleasing means. Which, is, which we like, appealing, attractive. Beautify is to improve the appearance. Means some, suppose you have some drawing made. So if you put some colors, you can beautify it. Pregnant is having sweet smell. A nice smell, a pleasant smell is called pregnant. Okay. Now children, look at this. This is a very beautiful rangoli, right? Yes. Yes. Now this rangoli, I'm sure uh, your mothers or your elder sisters must be drawing some rangolis during some festivals. Are you doing it? In, in front of your house, uh, mostly uh, in Mumbai, the courtyards are very small, but uh, mostly in the native place, no? Gaume, people draw some big rangolis in front of their doorstep. So this is a rangoli, uh, which we use different colors. Now, next. Now here, they have explained rangavali. What is the meaning of rangavali? Ranga means? Color. Color. Ranga means color. And Auli means? Row. A row. Auli means a row. So Ranga manje color means color. And Auli is a row. So a row of colors is called, to, totally it is called uh, Rangavali. Okay? It is called? Rangavali. Rangavali. And then the short form is Rangoli. Okay? Yes. Now here they have shown uh, that rangoli is an art of making designs or patterns on the floor. Okay, children, have you ever seen rangoli? At least you have seen rangoli. Teacher, yes. I, I, I have seen the rangoli front of the door. Yes, yes. And, uh, uh, on and, the wall. uh, walls also, yeah. Yes, teacher, in the floor of the house. Yes, usually rangoli is drawn on the floors of the house and it is a different pattern. Anybody can draw a square, a circle, any designs which we are going to see. And they are using ground powder, okay, of different colors. Now see here, you see the woman, she is drawing rangoli, right? She is making the, she is filling the colors. So uh, here they have said that rangoli designs are drawn and the courtyard, courtyard means? You're just front of the house. 
Okay. Here you see uh, this woman, they are drawing Rangoli and it is said uh, that they are drawing the Rangoli. People are drawing Rangoli every day. Mostly in the native place, na, like Hamare Gaon mein, people draw Rangoli. Some people draw Rangoli every day. It is a good start. Okay. Now, like, uh, suppose, uh, suppose you clean your house every day to make it uh, better. Similarly, people draw Rangoli and they feel nice. No, it is, uh, they feel something good, positive energy coming out of it. Okay, so that's why the Rangoli is drawn to decorate our house. Now, here, what they are saying, ki, uh, we on special occasions, like suppose Diwali is there, Holi is there. Do you wear new clothes? Yes, teacher. Yes, you wear new clothes. Similarly, uh, on the occasions, people draw some different, different Rangoli. Okay. Now here, uh, you can see this rangoli. They have they have used some special designs. You can see some animal there. Peacock. Bird. Bird. Yeah, there is a peacock there. And then there are mangoes there. Can you see the mangoes? Small, small mangoes. So, uh, yeah. So sometimes they use the forms of nature. Whatever is found in nature. No? Fruits or flowers. What is found in nature, kids? Do you know? What is found in nature? Teacher designs. Designs. But nature is like plants, animals, and all that thing. Isn't yes. it? So in, in the nature, whatever is found, they draw. See here, you can see mangoes or you can see apples. What can you see? It is mango. Yes. So sometimes they use mango and there are trees inside. You can see some trees. Yes. Yes. Which trees? Those are mango trees. Those are small coconut trees. Look, they're looking like coconut trees. Yes. And outside there are mangoes. So this this rangoli is designed with mangoes and uh, some trees. Now here, which which flower you can see? Lotus. Yes, you can see the lotus. So some people use. Different, different, no? Some mangoes sometimes, other fruits sometimes, other flowers. Okay. Yeah. What can you see? The rangoli. One. Yes. Sometimes they use some birds or animals. So here they have used swans. It is so beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Here, what can you see? Two peacocks. Yeah, you can see peacocks. So this is a rangoli actually. Okay. It is, it is made by some very... Uh, excellent, uh, who, is, who is very excellent in drawing Rangpoli. It is made by uh, them. So this is uh, two, the two peacocks. So they have used nature over here. Here, what can you see? Shape. Not a fish. Yes, you can see fish. So some people use fish designs. So, so people use different, different patterns for Rangoli. Anything, you know, anything you can use by your own uh, creative ideas. So here they have used the fish. And it's very beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, now here, you know what they have used? They have used uh, geometrical figures. Yes. Geometrical figures. Uh, what, what comes? Do you know what comes in geometrical figures? Yes. Circles are coming. In that, in that Rangoli mostly use the multiply. Yeah, yeah, or or they use squares, square or, circles, or circles, or uh, rectangles. Yes, angles. Yes, yes. So cubes, anything they use. No, all those geometrical uh, patterns they use. Uh, sometimes you know they also use freehand drawing. You know what is freehand drawing? Is uh, you draw anything. So here there is no uh, no animal, no bird. Uh, no geometrical pattern. This is freehand. Okay. So sometimes some people use freehand drawing. Okay. Now uh, read this. How it is made? What is been used to make rangoli? Sand. Yes. Marble dust. Yes. Coal dust. Yes. Rice grain powder. Yes. Okay. What is sand? You know what is sand? Very sand found. Yeah. Mitti. Or it is no, it is also found near the seashore. The, yes, the, yes. Yes, seashore yes. is near the beach also. Yes, on the beach we find sand. So some people use sand. 
and in that you no know, sometimes they put color so that sand is used to make uh, any uh, kind of rangoli so uh, if you, you you can find sand somewhere near your near your house kids you can find sand somewhere near your house yes teacher yeah so suppose i tell you ki you uh, take a handful of sand and draw some design can you draw yes later on okay excellent okay marble dust you know what is marble dust marble is a stone so when they cut the stone uh, there is there is a dust which is fallen down that is used you know why it is used because marble is shining okay it's white in color so it it, it becomes a shining design designer rangoli sawdust you know what is sawdust uh, when we cut when we cut trees or when we cut wood what happens have you seen any time cutting wood when we cut wood there is a dust falling down of wood okay that is called sawdust very clear yes sawdust yes yeah when you cut the wood there is some dust falling down that is sawdust okay rice grain powder you know what is rice yes teacher rice is chawal cha yeah, excellent chawal so when we grind the rice you know it becomes powder right yes teacher okay when we when when we grind the rice the powder it is used for what your yeah, mommy That's used ha ah, but yeah for making roti isn't it your mother used for making roti so this powder also sometimes it is used they put color in that mix color in that and they use as uh, to make rangoli so Did rangoli is tamil and kolam uh, with the help of rice powder they are making the rangoli yeah yeah usually they use in tamil nadu they use rice powder rice yeah. grain powder so rangoli is made with all these things but not necessary you can use any other things also okay yeah. but usually fan marble dust powder dust powder rice powder. powder is used to make rangolis okay now here this rangoli sometimes they use lines okay sometimes they use lines sometimes they use circles you can see in this design it's nice design right it's a circle yeah. and then they have used some lines okay now this skill to to draw rangoli it requires practice tomorrow if i or you go and make try to make this rangoli can we make easily no no we'll have to practice for long time and then maybe we can make a rangoli right okay now sometimes what people do they make a background you can see here you see the floor is not there they they have used a red color background and on that they are putting the uh, color right Yes. So this is like a background. It is called the geru. Yes. So this background is made with geru. Yes. So this is made with geru, and then they put designs, colors on that. So the rangoli becomes more beautiful. Okay. So just to make the rangoli beautiful, people use different different ideas. See here, sometimes they are using rows and columns. okay they are they are using rows or columns or dots even dots no you just draw some circle and draw make some dots become a rangoli is ready okay now this rangoli especially they have put lights in this so this rangoli especially on the which day diwali yes diwali. excellent this rangoli is mostly a diwali day diwali day they put rangoli and then they adorn with lights or flowers also uh, you can see flowers na at the background we are making the rangoli and put diyas on the rangoli yes this is usually done during diwali okay this one i also do yeah so diwali means rangoli is compulsory so i think your mothers or sisters must be drawing diwali uh, rangoli during diwali festival okay anything can be done yeah now sometimes sometimes people are coming to your house no they are called uh, pahuni no people sometimes come to your house so yes. Yes. suppose there are people coming you can always uh, they draw a uh, rangoli to welcome them you can see the welcome uh, this yeah. welcome yeah so just to welcome the people now here rangoli uh, in different states we'll see this is a map of which country 
Indian. Yes, India. Now, here they are, we are just going to learn ki what Aurangoli is called in Uttar Pradesh. It is called as Chauk Purana. Say after me. Chauk Purana. Chauk Purana. In, uh, it is called as Madana in Rajasthan. What it is called? Madana. Madana. In Andhra Pradesh, it is called Muggu. 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 And, yeah, in, in Maharashtra and Gujarat, Karnataka, it is called as Rangoli. Okay. Rangoli. Yes. And mostly in northern parts, you know, they use they use wet colors. Okay. They use wet colors. Now this is Bengal. Uh, where people where in Bengal it is called as Alpana. What it is called as? Alpana. Alpana. In Bihar, it is called as Ayapana. 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 In Bihar and even Uttaranchal, it is called as Ayapana. Ayapana. And this is in South. Somebody was telling me just now, no, Kolam. Yes. Kolam, yes, Kolam is, uh, they say Kolam in the South. Okay, and it is usually uh, in the Kerala and Tamil Nadu. This is the simple Rangoli called as Kolam. Okay, now we'll see modern days Rangoli. Modern days means for now people are coming out of the traditional practices. They want to use their own designs. So they do whatever they, they please, you know, they use any, any, any designs in modern days. Now, uh, uh, here, uh, see, Rangoli was previously only, only women used to do Rangoli. Okay, mostly Rangoli, who will do? Women. But nowadays, you can see here in this picture, there are men also, there are women also. Okay, so it is not like only women will do. Even men are learning the practice and they are using their own innovative ideas. Means any new ideas they are using uh, to draw Rangoli. So men and women can also draw Rangoli. So you can tell in a household, Ki mother also will draw. Rangoli, if father also will draw Rangoli. Okay. Boys will draw Rangoli. Girls will draw Rangoli. Okay, children. And, uh, you know, during public celebrations, like, you know, Independence Day, also people are making Rangoli nowadays. Okay. Or Republic Day or any big festival, people are, can, are drawing Rangolis and they are, there are exhibitions. And these, are, these Rangolis are very big. I think on the TV you must have seen. There are big, big rangoli. Now, this is a rangoli. This is a rangoli which they have used flowers. Okay, children? Here they have used flowers to make rangoli. Okay, the last line. Would you like to try your hand at this beautiful art? Okay, now tell me how many people are going, how many children are going to try to make a small rangoli? Me try. You will try? Yes, you can, see, you can use anything what just now we use now. You can use the rice powder, or you can use uh, sand, or you can just draw a circle. Anything you can draw. Okay, kids. So this is this is your project now. Uh, this is you know, your assignment. You will draw some rangoli. Try anything. Okay, kids. I want a big yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes, okay. yes, thank you. Now, uh, we will try something. Uh, if you can answer, we'll see how much, how, how much you have learned. Okay. Rangoli means dash and dash. Who will tell me what Rangoli, rangoli means? Rangoli means colors and row and wine. Yes, Rangoli means color. So here it is Ranga. What it is? Ranga, Ranga and, and and rose and wine. Rose and wine. Rose and rose. Very good. And rose and wines. Okay. Rangoli is drawn in front of the door. Door. Uh, courtyard of... or front of the door. Courtyard. Yes. Yes. Courtyard. Yes. So courtyard also front of the door. And here you will use in front of the house also. House will do. Yes. In front of the house. Okay. So we will write house. Okay. Okay. Designs of Rangoli based on nature are dash, 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 and dash. Designs of Rangoli we saw. Send. Uh, no, no, designs, designs. People use in Rangoli, people use. I just now we saw what they use. Uh, peacock. Then what they use? Shape. Uh, any shape. 
any any animal i told you na any birds what do you use flowers colors mango 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 and and what else flowers flowers okay flowers and what else uh lotus yes yes miss yes. so lotus also and and what else tree tree also trees also okay trees also they use anything all this design based on rangoli is based on all these designs eh, from nature okay fish. fish also very good fish also okay rangoli lines are made using dash powder or dash rice yes rice, rice or sand rice, rice powder or, or, or sand or sand excellent excellent you are very attentive very good kids deepavali is not complete without rangoli colors rangoli rangoli yes without rangoli okay today dash and women learn art of rangoli men men yes excellent you are very good kids so men and women learn the art of rangoli every answer you all gave a huh? very good i am very happy okay okay now this is your homework okay uh one side i have given you all the states like bengal bihar kerala rajasthan gujarat uttar pradesh the other side is the what the rangoli is called aripana alpana madana kolam chok purana and rangoli so you will match this okay kids now now you just watch the design how she is making the rangoli can you see yes miss one simple dot one simple circle see how how easily it is done i think she is using a uh, rice powder yes or miss. or marble powder something of that see how easily she is doing so you look attentively you watch attentively and you can also draw the rangoli a simple rangoli isn't it very beautiful yes miss it is beautiful yes and very nicely she is because she is practiced na no? isn't that's why she is doing it so nicely but we can do it slowly slowly now she is filling the the first she, she would draw do the outline now she is filling the outline you can see on what she is uh, filling the color filling the rangoli uh, it is a floor or it is a table floor Flo table i i it looks like table over nowadays you can never say <laughs> people also put carpets na no, in their houses but look looks like table beautiful isn't it very simple and beautiful you like this rangoli yes, yes. miss yo here is the homework slide okay teacher two yes. minute wait you are going to write right now yes teacher because we have to go to the next lesson also just i'll just wait for one teacher in bengal it is known as No, 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 no. This is your homework. You do it. Do it later. Okay. You do it later. So, thank you, kids. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. It was nice to see you. It was nice to hear you. It was nice to teach you. Bye, kids.